Welcome to Eternal Pages. I'm your host, Elder Roger Roll, and today we have with us Elder Bursal Wallace, and he's going to help us unpack a very interesting topic today, entitled, the lesson is entitled, Controversies. Welcome, Elder Wallace. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Amen. Let us pray. Yes. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your manifold blessings. We give you thanks for this opportunity where we can share the good news of the gospel of peace. Amen. We can tell others about Jesus. Yes. In his name we do pray. Amen. 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 Yes. And so controversies. Yes. That's just that the word alone, you know, it, it uh, is said, well, boy, I want to see what this is all about. <laughs> and yes. uh, as we look in Mark chapter 2, Mm -hmm. Verses 27 and 28, uh, we read, And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, for man. and not man for the Sabbath. Yes. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Yes. Yes. You know, and as, as I look at that, Elder, you know, Jesus, uh, that's, 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 that's a bold statement. Oh, yes. You know, yes. that, that he is Lord of the Sabbath. Yes. You know, because sometimes we get bogged down in exactly you you can't do this and you can't do that. Yes. And Jesus tells us to pause. Right, right, right. <laughs> yes, and it's interesting that he, would, he could make that statement <laughs> because he knew all about the origins even of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He knew when it came mm -hmm. into being and why it came into being. And, uh, and 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 the benefits that it was uh, uh, designed. Yes. Yes. For. Yes. Yes. The human race. Yes. You know? yes. 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 And we're going to impact that as sure as we go forward. Because yes. yeah. I thank God for the Sabbath. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. I recognize that. Yes. I need it. Right. You know. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. And yes. as we look. Um, uh, one of our favorite writers, Ellen G. White, she writes in The Desire of Ages, mm -hmm. page 286-287, and this is what she writes. Yeah. When questioned, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days? Jesus answered, what man shall there be among you right. that shall have one sheep, mm -hmm. and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, Will he not lay hold of it and lift it out? Yes. How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. Yes. And, and, and that's, that's so important. And I'm yes. sure you've had to share that with family and friends because they see you doing something and be like, that's right. Uh, also, they they t they never fully acknowledge it's the Sabbath. They say, and that's your Sabbath, yes. as opposed to recognizing that it is the Sabbath of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Yes. Um, there was one Sabbath uh, we were going to uh, to worship, and um, a neighbor uh, just gotten a, a flat. Mm. Okay. Road, okay. You know? Uh huh. And um, I looked at my watch. I said, "Wow, we're cutting it tight, but we have to help this lady mm -hmm. uh, change this tire." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, she she looks so frustrated. Mm -hmm. So I had to stop and help her get a spare out of her car mm -hmm. trunk. Mm -hmm. uh, take off the, the inflated tire mm -hmm. and put on help her put on a spare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we went all to church. Mm -hmm. We were a little late, mm -hmm. but I was justified that I was able to do something helpful 
on the Sabbath. Day. Yes, 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 <laughs> you know? and that's and that's so important. And that was in keeping with Sabbath, as far as I was concerned. Yes, sir. That's it. You that's know? it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and and Ellen White goes on to write: the spies dared not; they dare not answer Christ in the presence of the multitude <laughs> for fear of involving themselves in difficulty. That's right. They knew that he had spoken the truth. Mm-hmm. Rather than violate their traditions, they would leave a man to suffer yes. while they would relieve a brute because of the loss of the owner if it were ne- neglected. Yeah. Thus, greater care was shown for a dumb animal than for man who was made in the image of the God. Lord, yeah. This illustrates the working of all false religions. Yeah. They originate in man's desire to exalt himself above God, yes. but they result in degrading man below the brute. Every religion mm-hmm. that wars against the sovereignty of God defrauds man of the glory which was his at creation mm-hmm. and which is to be restored to him in Christ. Amen. Every fraud religion teaches its adherents to be careless of human needs, yeah. sufferings, and rights. Yes. The gospel places a high value mm-hmm. upon humanity as the purchase of the blood of Christ. Yes. And it teaches a tender regard yes. for the wants and woes of man. The yes. Lord says, I will make a man more precious yes. than fine gold even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Yeah. And that's in Isaiah yes. 13, 12. So, yes. he, so we can see here the great value that's right. that God yes. puts upon us. Oh, yes. And every human being, every human being, God expects us to treat with dignity and the highest respect because a human being, is far, far more valuable than all materials, regardless of what it is. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. So, so, Elder Wallace, how, how can we, as a body of believers, mm-hmm. how can we be sensitive to persons who are suffering silently mm. like we, we're still in the book of Mark in Mark yes. chapter 2 we see a paralytic literally suffering and Jesus yes. taking time out to to heal him how can we mm-hmm. as a body of believers be more sensitive to what we see around us yes. because if you're driving along the road mm. you're bound to see suffering yes. and most most times we drive right on by how can we be more sensitive yes. in dealing with that? Yeah. Again, you know, it's 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 um, it's related to our prayer life and our relationship with our Heavenly Father. The closer we come to God, uh, the better our relationship with Him. The more we become sensitized uh, to our fellow men. Mm their situations, their conditions, and the more the Holy Spirit arouses us to have an interest in our fellow men and uh, delivers us from being uh, self-centered and and concerned so much about ourselves. And uh, I, I have uh, personally discovered in my Christian walk that the closer I am walking with God, the more I am concerned about the conditions yes, of my family. Yes, 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 yes. The Holy Spirit really opens our eyes. The closer we get to Christ, the more we see how we should be like Christ. Indeed. Yes, indeed, yes. Indeed. You know, and, um, and kindness, eh? <laughs> kindness is also one of the characteristics of God. To, be, to take time to be kind, you know, to be caring. Yes, uh, a statement was made that I heard some years ago. Uh, people do not uh, um, care how much you know mm. as long as they know how much you care. Yes, yes. 
Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yes. You know, folk boast sometimes about their, their educational achievements. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The statuses mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and all that type of stuff. All, all the letters of the alphabet behind the name. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But that, that doesn't mean anything in the sight of God mm. if you cannot uh, appreciate the value of another human being. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes. 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 And, and uh, mm. it brings to mind, Elder, uh, just recently I was, uh, I'd stopped to. Uh, pick up something from a store. And when I stepped out of the store, yes. there's a gentleman, an older gentleman. I saw mm-hmm. him walk past, very uh, cleanly dressed. And I saw him sitting down on the side by the where the, the flowers are. Mm-hmm. And he was tapping his chest and coughing. And he looked at me and he called me. Yes. And I went over because obviously he was suffering and in some pain. Yes. And, I, and he kept rubbing his chest. So I yes. began to to rub it. Yeah. And I asked him if he wanted me to get an ambulance and he kept saying no, no ambulance. He yes. doesn't he doesn't doesn't need an ambulance. But he was fighting to breathe. So I, I, I was alarmed. I, I, I almost was about to call the for an ambulance. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. When a couple of ladies in the store, they came out mm. and they called his name. They obviously knew him yes. and they were able to talk with him. And obviously, this is not a new for they were able to assist him. I see. But it, in in that moment, mm-hmm. you know, you're asking, you're, you, I'm saying, Lord, don't let him die, and yeah. and show me what to do. Yes. You yes, know, yes. and and God sent someone who yes. was equipped to deal with him. Right. And so we yes. just have to be sensitive. Yes, um, you, yes. you know, because uh, somebody calling you sometimes should be like, oh, I ain't going over there, you yeah. know, and walk on by. And that's no. the wrong thing to do. Wrong thing to do. Yes, thing yes, thing to do. yes. Yes, God, God gives you that uh, good Samaritan attitude, you know. Uh, everyone who's in need is a neighbor. Amen, amen, yes. amen. Yes. Amen. So we have just we have to be sensitive to the suffering. Now, now mm-hmm. um, we see in in the world today many many we have many denominations and therefore many religious leaders. Yes. Um, I was just taking a, a a survey of the different denominations in our country, and mm-hmm. and I literally said to my wife, it, it, "This this church is big." business. <laughs> you bet it is. And um, yeah. we see with all the traditions and the dogma and, and all this, it, we see religious leaders just in this today, uh-huh. the same way back then, religious leaders who, who rejected Christ. They, they profess godliness, yes. but, but their actions are, say, otherwise, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So how can we mm-hmm. be a people who are careful not to be like uh, some of the religious leaders we in, in Christ's day yeah. and we even see today. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you know, um, God shows us by his mercies and grace how we ought to consider imitating him. He he doesn't require us to to bring him rivers of oil, as he sa- <laughs> says in Micah, or uh, great sacrifices. Mm. <laughs> All God wants us to do is to live justly. Yes, Micah to love six eight. Mercy yes, and to walk yes. humbly with God. Yes, we're we're not much. Um, uh, one of your pastors. And your form, uh, former uh, religious persuasion used to say, we are just like a vapor. Mm. A vapor. Now you see him, and now you Just know. a puff, and then, yeah, disappear. You only <laughs> glimpse it for a moment. You know? And uh, this motto of pride and arrogance, mm. it doesn't suit us. And it has no place for Christianity. Yes. You yeah. know? Um even Jesus, of course, set us such an example. You know, uh, he said the foxes have holes, mm. the birds of the air have nests, <laughs> but the Son of Man who came down from glory mm. 
has not rare to lay his head. Mm. I mean, it, it isn't, it isn't uh, uh, what we are or what we have. It's who we know. Yes. And once you know Almighty God. Yes, sir. And he's your father. You have nothing to be particularly concerned about. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And um, that brings to mind that I, uh, even with our the leaders in our faith, yeah. um, I think we, we should more often, because mm-hmm. it's never too much, we should hold them up in prayer. Oh, yes. yes. Because we say, we, the Word of God says the devil is yes. angry. Yes. He knows he has a short time. And so if he can, as the Word of God says, deceive the very elect, if he can deceive our leaders, right. uh, he would do so. Oh, yes. And so would. rather than, than just stand aside and criticize our leaders when you see them mm-hmm. air, we should be encouraging oh, yes. when we should be praying and holding them up That's on the right. wings of prayer. That's right. Because uh, any, anybody... Uh, who thinks about it knows mm-hmm. that leadership is not easy. That's right, yes. And uh, we ought to be very conscious of the fact that their enemy is our enemy. Ah, oh, yes, know? sir. Their yes, sir. enemy is our enemy. Yes, yes, sir. And we are all in this thing together. Yes. You know? Yes, <laughs> so, yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Yeah. So so mm-hmm. how, how can we become family mm-hmm. to those who are not our family. They're not your brother, sister, spouse, children. Yes, yes. But how can we become... Because Jesus That's right. brought everyone in mm-hmm. as sons and daughters. That's right. How can we truly bring persons in, even though they have rejected mm. the faith? Yeah. How can we show them that there still is a way Mm-hmm. Uh, that Jesus has changed me yes. and he's told me to love you as if you're my family. That's right. Yes, the uh, God is so wise and God is so loving and God cares so much that he wants everyone to be part of the family of God. Yes, 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 sir. And once once we decide to become family of God, hmm. that is a far more a significant and a effective family than any other family. <laughs> and, uh, Amen. In Mark, you know, uh, Jesus was in a certain place and he was teaching the, the people and uh, there was some concern that something might uh, might ha- be happening to him, mm-hmm. and so members of his physical family, okay, okay, yeah, came go ahead now to check on yeah. him, you know, uh-huh. to uh-huh. make sure he was okay, yeah, uh-huh. you know? and uh, the person who uh, was announcing the news to Jesus that his mother and his sisters and his bread brothers were there to see him uh, told Jesus, and Jesus. Uh, I can imagine he must have smiled. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he he looked mm-hmm. around the circle of persons who were sitting around him, and he said, uh, "These be my mother and my brothers mm. and my sister and all those who do the will of God." Ah. Ah. <laughs> Right. Yes, yes. And, and so we, we understand from that that the emphasis where God is concerned is not so much on what the blood relationship is physically. Okay, okay. It is more important that we recognize or ourselves as the children of God. Amen, yes. amen, amen. That spiritual relationship. That spiritual relationship. Amen, amen. Yes. yes. The physical relationship it's only for time. Yes. But that spiritual yes. relationship yes. is for all eternity. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. And yeah. it brings to mind that yeah. I, I have a sister. Uh, mm-hmm. She's just a year younger than me, and she lives in the States, and we yeah. we, we connect and on the phone often, and I visited her, her just recently right. and took some photos, and when you looked at them, and I said to her, uh-huh. uh, we... 
we getting old. <laughs> and she say, speak for yourself, you know. <laughs> but the reality yeah. is, because she and I grow very close. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, almost like twins. You bet. And, and uh, wherever she, because she's lived a number of places in the world, and I always go and spend time with her, because right, I love right, her. Right. And, and as you say, that relationship, mm -hmm. that earthly relationship, one day is going to come to an end. Yes, yes. Whereas we should prepare ourselves that's right. for eternity, an eternal relationship. That's right, that's right. You know, and, right. and yes, I, 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 I look forward to, to that day because mm -hmm. then it even re reunites us with loved ones that's right. who have uh, gone on, who are, right. who, are, who are in the grave asleep, yes. resting, awaiting mm -hmm. to hear the yeah, sound yes. of Christ. Right, uh, our relationship with our friends and our loved ones here on earth uh, is destined for some transition. Yes, yeah, yeah. You see, and um, we ought to be, we ought to take advantage of the opportunity of having the, and preparing for the best. Yes, transition. yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. eternal, that eternal existence, you know. Yes. Yeah, by yes. the blood of the everlasting covenant. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, so I just want to slightly shift gears here, mm -hmm. Elder, as as we uh, begin to wind down, mm -hmm. and I want to read a, a, a text from Mark chapter three, verses yes. twenty eight and twenty nine, which says, "Assuredly I say to you," and this is Christ speaking, "All sins will be forgiven the sons of men." and whatever blasphemies they may utter. Mm -hmm. In verse 29, he says, but he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation. condemnation. And, and, and those are strong words. Very strong. Strong words. Yeah. And, and so as can we uh, help to uh, uh, unpack this unpardonable sin yeah. where there's no forgiveness and so that our, our viewers and listeners can realize that and, and as they're in the Christian walk, they would know not to fall into that yes. Uh, route. Yes, very, very serious uh, statement that Jesus made. And um, when, we, when we consider that statement in its uh, truest context, Right, we are recognizing that uh, persons who find themselves in that particular situation are not persons who have um, accidentally made a mistake. Okay, all right. Uh, they haven't accidentally right. made a mistake. All right, so mistake. that don't just happen. No. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. uh, they're persons who have resisted, resisted the truth resisted a clear evidence of uh, of uh, what what is what what the what is what has been done how is it that uh, Jesus uh, could um, say to the paralytic okay eh? uh, first of all your sins be forgiven mm. yes and then he says, in, in order for you and folk, uh, folk who heard that, you know, they, yeah. they got disturbed. Yeah, man, they go into shock. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Only God can forgive sins. Right. But he said, in order that you know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. Yes. I'm saying to the parallel. Yes, yes, yes. Rise. Yes. Take up your bed and yes. walk, right? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. And um, here it is now. Jesus demonstrated uh, clearly that uh, the power of omnipotence was with him, divine power, mm -hmm. right? And uh, rather than accept it on the clear evidence, <laughs> these men were prepared uh, to uh, uh, insist that he was working with demons mm. and devils. How could that be? You know? And uh, it, was, it was in that context that Jesus was warning, you know, that if you persist on ascribing to devils and demons the work of God, I see. you see, yes, sir. 
uh, when it is clear that it is the power of God at work, yes. you're well on your way to committing the unpardonable sin. Yes, yes. You know, it's a yes. serious thing. Yes, you know, yes. To call good evil oh. and evil good. Yes, yes, you know? yeah. yes, yeah. yes. So as, as, as in, in our day, it's as, yeah. as the Holy Spirit speaks to us, yes. if, if we keep ignoring that, and rejecting it, right. we, even though the as you say the evidence is clear, that's right. But some very often we we're ready. Yes, we 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 love our sin. Mm -hmm. We don't want to let go of our sin. Yes. We 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 like doing all the things that, that we know are wrong. Till it right. gets to the point where we don't even feel like we're doing wrong anymore. That's right. That's a serious thing. And so, Jesus is warning us here mm -hmm. that as you keep rejecting the leading of the Holy Spirit right. uh, to come to Christ, to believe his word, to uh, admit your sin yes. and ask for forgiveness, mm -hmm. then that we will be damned forever. Yes, yes. And, and, and so, um, Elder, yeah. as we begin to close down, I would say to you, mm -hmm. what would you say to our listening audience as we look at this topic, controversies? What would you say to them to encourage them, mm -hmm. to those who know God, to hold to the faith, and those who don't, don't know God, to uh, ask for forgiveness of their sins and accept Jesus Christ? Yes. It's an excellent question, and indeed, um, Jesus is always giving us an, a beautiful invitation. Amen. You know? Amen. And uh, he is saying always, come. Yes. Come unto me. Yes. All ye that labor yes. and are heavy laden. Yes. And I will give you rest. Rest. And then uh, he says in another place in John 14, verse 6, uh, I am the way, mm. the truth, I am, and the life. Mm. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You know? And the greatest decision that we can make as human beings uh, subject to death is to recognize that in Jesus there is eternal life. Yes. And uh, I am come, he says, that you may have life and, and uh, have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Um, there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Amen. Amen. You know. So, and so the choice is always as. Only an amazing, loving God can give human beings the power of choice. And we can make that choice uh, for eternal good or for our eternal loss. Amen. And so today, um, we have another opportunity. Yes. Every one of us everywhere to make the choice for life. Amen. To make the choice for the blessings of God eternally. Yes. Yes, amen and amen. So I'd like to thank you, Elder Wallace, for joining us once again on Eternal Pages. And I would like to thank our viewing and listening audience. And as always, we encourage you to study God's Word so that you may know what Jesus, what God has, the plans for your life. Amen, amen, amen.